Oh wait, why is it so dark in here? Did I trip the circuit again? Oh, I must have overloaded it. Let me show you. There we go. Um, anyway, um, I hope you guys like my new, uh, part of the, uh, board for the scene right here. Uh, I got a phone system. There'll be more videos coming out on that, but I figured I should hook up a breaker panel to it, and I guess I overloaded the main circuit, so, I don't know. But, uh, I guess let's get back to the video, because today... We're going to be doing something pretty exciting. We're going to be doing more with access control. And so if we're not posting in a bit, I've had a really busy, like, last couple weeks. And I filmed this a while ago, but I'm just now having the time to do the intro. I just got the backboard ready and all that. So, um, today we're going to be installing access control on a cash tray. And if you don't know what a cash tray is, if you've ever gone to, like, a store and you've paid with cash, you know that there's that, like, tray thingy that opens? And it, sometimes it's, like, the bell thingy, or at least in the movies. Uh... Mine doesn't have a bell, but it's right over here. And as I said, I just now had the time to film this. So the access control is already up there, but um, I, I'm not going to show you because, well, that would ruin the whole video. But let's get to it. So, um, yeah. So here's my my dumb, dumb cash tray. It's actually pretty smart. Other than to open it, I have to lift it up, reach under there, and it's really heavy because it's full of money, and push a release lever, and then it will open. And it's really heavy, like I told you. So basically, we're going to be smartifying it with access control. So, I know this is very Chinese, but I have one of these down in the other building. These are super, like, functional. They work really well. They last a long time. Uh, it doesn't really matter that they're Chinese. They work, right? That's all I need them to do. So, uh, let's get into it. Okay, so originally, so it's upside down now on my desk here. Originally, I was going to mount the access control controller on the side here. Not the, the reader, but the controller the side here and I was like what if there's enough space on the inside and there is so I'm thinking because it's it's let me show it to you it's this big ugly box and it's like well why would you ever want it to be on the outside why does it have to be on the outside see so it's like this and I mean on my freshly painted thing that's ugly right and it kind of it doesn't stick it sticks out a little bit so if it were just to stick it, like, I don't know, like right, right there, does that even fit? No, it doesn't fit there. It would fit here. I'll have to do some messing around, but I think it'll fit inside. Hey okay, guys, so I got the drawer out. I got the wire soldered onto the back of the reader. I got this tested, and it works real good. And I got a death cord down there to wire this up. And basically, the controller here is going right here. So these are the control wires, so I'll have to pull those out from the door in the back. And then right up there, there's a little hole that I drilled to push the wires through. So I'm gonna put the wires through, hope they fit, tape them, and t uh, tape them to the thing there so that they don't dangle. So that when you close the door, they don't like hit, you know, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so the terminal clock is all wired up. That should work. So, in theory, it's gonna go there. Like that. And then we'll pop in. And then 120 wires will come out there. So, I guess I'll untangle that mess okay, up. Guys. So, it is working. So, as you can see, the latch is latched. If I put in the, the default code, it does open. And then after the time delay, does latch. So now we just gotta contain this rat's nest of wires uh, into that corner there. 
So, I'll do that right now. Okay, so that is all tidied up in there. So, um, if I grab a fog here, got this. That opens. Boom. And I do that from here. And, uh, so, that's good to go. So, now I guess I'll put the drawer back in and close this all up. So, yeah, let's go. Okay, guys, the drawer is in. And it is 10.30. So, yeah. But it's kind of late for me. Because I kind of got sick the last few days. So, I'm, I'm going to try to end the, finish this for you. Anyway, the drawer's in. So, if I can find the reader, I'll scan the fog. So, just to see if we're working here. No, no. Okay. Yes. Okay, well, it worked. Okay. The door should close. Okay, cool. So. Yeah. So now I'll put it back together and uh, we'll actually test it in. So the back cover is back on. And I know the bottom of the paint job looks terrible. The rest looks so much better. Um, I'll put a picture in right now of what it used to look like and then a picture in of what it looked like right after I spray painted it so it was still shiny. This is matte, by the way, but it looks so much better other than the bottom, okay? I swear. It looks like 15,000 times better. So now let's flip it over and test it out. Well, first I'll mount this, and then we'll flip it over and test it out. Hey guys, so it's all put back together now. So in theory, when I plug this cord in, it should power up. Oh, it should power up. Hey, we have power. Okay. Um. And it should open when I scan this fob. Okay, that's an issue. Um, okay, that, that's another issue. Uh, this has to be moved out. Other than that, it, it works. Well, I guess I'll fix that right now. We are all up and running, so if I go like this, it does work, and I click with it latching again, and then if I use the, the default code, it also works, and then the tick, I really like these systems because they're simple and they work well. Other than um, the instructions are in Chinese. Once you figure it out, though, it's so simple. It's like only four wires. So again, I'll do that again. It's really hard to do because this falls off when I open it. As you can see, well, that's green. If I try to shut it, it won't latch. So you have to wait till it turns um, that. So now I'm going to program it so that it works on my one key fob that I want it to work on. And, you know, this will probably be my spare. And I'll program my code in. And, uh, yeah, so see you guys after I do that. That, that's just so cool. I mean, I, I'm protecting literally like so much. And like, there, you guys can't see, but there's a ton of cash in here. Uh, also, never break into my house or, or the explosives and that thing will detonate. There's totally explosives. Also, you, you can see the um, 
the, the red light in there from the access control. I'm just joking, by the way. Um, there, there's no explosives in here. But if I stick it in there. Okay, can, oh my gosh, you can, you can totally see it back there. That's the access controller. You guys are shoved in the drawer right now. If I set you there, then I can close it. Oh. It works for a minute, okay. So my um, key fob here is programmed in. As you can see. And my, sorry, my password here programmed in. So as you can see, the default one no longer works. Nope, doesn't work. So, this will go in my key, key, well, lockbox, lockbox. So I can have a spare one just in case, you know. Okay, guys, so where did I put my keys? Um, it is up and it's working. So if I were to go grab my keys here. So the cord runs down here. And down under there, and it plugs in where this mess of wires in. So anyway, if I go like this, I got a bunch of candy in there, you know, Christmas, you know, so yeah, that works. And if I were to go get my spare from the notifier, okay. Fair works. So, if this video looks different from the rest of the video, I'm filming on a new, newer phone than the rest of the video, so hopefully it looks slightly better. But that also works. So, yeah, I think that's it. Um, pop you guys in there. Guys, uh, enjoyed this video here on Fix It Fax It. My name's Fix It and see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.